From that massive fire in Georgia to a chemical spill near Philadelphia, the train derailment in East Palestine and the plastics fire in Richmond, Indiana, fear of the unknown is most terrifying. The EPA finding hydrogen cyanide, benzene, chlorine, and carbon monoxide. It's hard for me to breathe. My lungs are hurting. I have extremely bad headache. Lynn Childers already had emphysema. He lives five and a half miles from the Richmond fire and was outside gardening with his great grandchild. And this black looked like soot or something falling from the sky. Sharice Munyon lives in East Palestine. I'm concerned with myself, but I want to make sure that my kids are going to be okay. A coalition of groups working to track and prevent chemical disasters estimates there's a chemical fire, explosion, or toxic release every other day in this country. That is just simply too much. You can't smell cancer on your skin, right? So um, these chemicals uh, can do harm either immediately or over a long period of time. The coalition wants stronger EPA regulations on hazmat storage, switching to safer alternatives, and informing communities and firefighters of the toxins in their backyards. Lung experts warn even minimal exposure to some toxins can do lasting damage. The effects can last for some time, and how long? Could be weeks, could be months, could be years. Lynn Childers is most concerned for his four-year-old great-grandchild. My time probably is short in this life. But my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren, what's the long-term health effects of this going to be on her? The chemical concerns come as non-smoking lung cancer rates are rising in the U.S. Researchers blame exposure to air pollution and toxins. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.